I don't know when this video will go out, but I decided to make a video. I don't know if you can see me. It's not the really the point of this video. But I'm trying to turn on the TV. Anyway, is my favorite ride when I went to Disney World both times in 2000. Well, one was in 1987, Christmas time, and then the other one's for my 21st birthday in 2003, I believe. That's the date. Not sure. And I went with my mom and dad first time. Same time I went with my mom, my mom's sister, and her two kids. So my aunt and cousins. And my favorite ride at Disney World was... I have two favorites. Well, no. I have three favorites. My first favorite was, is Tower of Terror, for sure. Even though that scares the living crap out of me, but it's fun. Splashing Mountain is number two. Just because... It's a, it's, it's about Ray Rabbit and he gets in your that song at the end gets in your head and then you get wet and they take your picture. I just like rides that take your picture. It's, I think is really cool. And then my third favorite would have to be the Haunted Mansion because I love being scared. And my favorite part is at the end of the ride when you are looking through the mirror, it looks like a ghost is sitting with you, but it really isn't. And I do have videos for my Disney trips on my YouTube channel, so just check them out, and you can see them. There's pictures, there's videos, there's everything that I got to do. My favorite thing to eat at was um, Hollywood Cafe, you know, the Hollywood Planet, I think it was called. That was pretty cool, and I like seeing the... Uh, at Epcot seeing the um, the fireworks. The fireworks was pretty cool. The two times that I got to see them and the show that they had different every time that I saw them. And I loved seeing the parades. If I could have, if my family would have stopped and just watched the parades till it w they were over, that would have been cool. Especially at Animal Kingdom when my camera died, that sucked. Because I wanted to get more footage of that. But, uh, I had a great time in Disney World. I did do Universal, and the Nickelodeon thing was my favorite thing at Universal the first time around, but the second time it's eh, because they didn't do the whole slime thing, the Double Dare slime thing. And my favorite ride at Universal was, unless it was at MGM, I'm not sure, which is now called Hollywood Studios, is, oh yeah, meeting Mickey was pretty cool both times, and it was the earthquake, you know, the tornado one, the earthquake doing the back lot that was pretty cool now now that kind of sucks that it's gone but uh if you got to go to disney world let me know in the comments down below tell me what your favorite rides were ask me anything you want to ask me whatever question you ask me i will make a video based on that question i will answer that question in a video and you will get a shout out and i will be talking about more of my fun adventure times in Disney World. I kind of want to do kind of like what Sir Willow, Sir Willie, yeah, Willow does on his channel where he talks about his favorite rides, his favorite things to eat at, his favorite things to do, stuff like that. And I can't base it on Disneyland because I've never been, but I could base it on. Six Flags, since I've been there, St. Louis Six Flags, or the Kansas City, um, Worlds of Fun, because my favorite thing to do at Worlds of Fun is to ride the rapids, because you get wet on there, and the, uh, the log, because you get wet on there, and they take a picture, and it's, and it's just a lot of fun. Those are the two of my favorite rides that I love riding on. 
And what the fun has changed dramatically. I can go on and on about that. And my mom asked me at Six Flags, which is funny, do you want to ride the train? I was thinking, oh, sure, a regular train, blah, blah, blah. No, it was a fucking roller coaster. And it scared the shit out of me. But I loved seeing the show, which I wish I got a footage of, because they said no pictures, but they didn't say anything about footage. And I wish I got a little bit of the footage. But it would have been cool to... I don't know why you couldn't do pictures, but yeah, you could videotape, I don't know. But I love going to theme parks, and I went to Silver Dollar City too, but I don't know remember much about that because we, we didn't go on too many rides. I was with my mom and stuff. Went to a lot of shows. But I love, to be honest, when I don't really care about the theme, riding the rides at the theme parks. I really care about going to shows at the theme parks and seeing Broadway shows and stuff like that and musicals because I think those are fun and parades. Parades are always my favorite. Anyways, I'm going to get going. I will talk to you guys. Later. Later, haters. And we're dog sitting for spring break. So, <clears throat> Sir Willow, which is this guy right here, he made a video called Nine Ways to Not Be Coolest at a Theme Park Guest. He would talk about things like, um, know where you're going, know where stuff is, read a map, how to get tickets, make sure you, you have plenty of water. Well, here's some suggestions too, because this happened to me when I was at the theme park. Make sure, if you can see me or not, because that's not the point of this video. Um, I said, I know a few good ones. Make sure you have a camera and batteries, because there might be... I remember in 2003 when I went for my 21st birthday with my aunt, cousin's mom, and I did not have enough battery, or not battery, I didn't have enough, you know, memory um, thingies. I was you because back then they didn't have cameras like these that you could put SD cards in and stuff. They had millim eight, 8 millimeter type films, which I don't have to show you. But, I remember I made a mistake and I didn't change out the tape and I didn't have enough room on the tape to film and I wish I did. And I remember in 97, my dad, the batteries kept dying and we didn't have enough way to charge them once again. It was a 97, so big bulky camera. We were a little shop, and the little shop didn't have the batteries that we needed. So always make sure you have extra batteries just in case. The hotel room, your batteries are charged right away. Or overnight sleeping, have a battery be charging. And with these kind of cameras now, you can just hide them behind one of the lamps or something and have them charging while you're at the theme parks. The SD card, make sure you have enough, uh, extra SD cards in case you fill that one up or something happens to that SD card, you have a backup. Make sure you have money, extra money. Like, bring extra cash, put it away in a safe spot in your bag and don't use it unless an emergency comes up if your shoe breaks or something by accident, you didn't know it was going to break, or you accidentally brought the wrong shoes because you weren't sure, then, you know, you have the money to get extra. Water. Always bring a bottle with you for water. There's always drinking fountains. You can always fill up your water bottles with the drinking fountains. It's inexpensive and it's cheap, but like Sir Willow said, you can just ask him for a cup of water. And by law, they're supposed to give it to you. Because when I went towards the fun, that's what I did is we bought water, a water bottle. If I didn't think of bringing one. 
now I bring one wherever I go and we just fill it up with water every time we saw a drinking fountain we'd fill it up with water or if there wasn't a drinking fountain we would just go to the bathroom sink and fill it up and then drink it that way get another I think my dad was trying to get another uh, film thing millimeter film thing and they didn't have the size that we needed and so I wish theme parks would have a little store next to the entrance for just in case of emergency we need extra things they would have it but uh, always bring a GoPro because you never know when you go go on a water ride you'd want if you want to film or take pictures during the, the water ride a GoPro would be really good for that because it's waterproof but also make sure you have it around your wrist or somehow so if you accidentally get jerked your camera doesn't fall out of your hand you should do the same thing with these if you use these cameras just so no one can steal them or whatever or if you accidentally drop them just put it on your hand like this and then you can just and then if you accidentally drop it or someone hits you and it knocks out you don't drop it drop it but I have cases all over the place cases like this or cases like this that is really old <laughs> but at least you have a case you can put your camera in and then put it in your pocket or easy place to access it on your pocket if you put it in your if you have two then put the extra one just in case you need it hidden somewhere in your bag so that nobody can steal it but at least have a bag to put it in and then put it in your pocket don't just put the camera straight in your pocket because if you run into a wall or accidentally run into somebody it could break it could get ruined and so having a, this protected case on it will help it don't lose all your important credit cards and stuff like that you should have a lanyard around your neck that will protect protect it but also can get in your way put it on a lanyard and then put the lanyard in your backpack hidden somewhere you know that sort of thing there's lots of different things you can prepare yourself and not be clueless when you get to the park because I remember in 97 my dad took me everywhere and I didn't and then when I went in 2003 I couldn't remember and I was like I don't think there's anything over this away and then I realized when I got home wait dad took us on this thing and we didn't get to see that this time around did they take that out or what I said I bet you it's in that one area that I said that there's probably nothing beyond there a little bag with one pair of extra clothes just in case um, little s snacks and things she would have our bottles in there camera stuff money everything just in that little pouch bag and plus if we got souvenirs we always did souvenirs towards the end before we left that way we didn't have to carry souvenirs all the time so anyway those I just wanted to extend his nine to some of the ones that I know of and we're gonna look and I'm gonna look in the comments right now a good one test any shoes before you wear them to the park I wore nice sandals to the park they were comfortable walking in the store but running through Disney to get a something test out or your sh yeah so basically test out your shoes. a video about how not to be clueless about Harry Potter why would we need that if you're not a fan of Harry Potter then why the hell would you go to a Harry to Universal I think it's funny how people at Disney World and they go, how do I get to Disney World? Idiot, you're in Disney World. My other one I like is when they go, so how do I get to Harry Potter Land? That's in Universal. Gonna get going? I will talk to you guys later. Later.